Warning, this is an adult-oriented podcast about really perverse things like communication and consent. If you are under 18 and looking for answers to questions about sex or kink, please visit scarletteen.com. For the dude bro listeners, this is the nerdy shit. Fuck off! <laughs> and that's how it's done. Are you okay, Greedy? No, yeah. yeah. Are did you, sure? you say bye with me, Thief? I did. Aww, you did. Thief said so it. I backed away from the mic a little bit. I did not. <laughs> Greedy was like, Mm-mm, I don't Greedy, want Greedy, you're of not that. filling the bite. I was thinking about panties. Whose? Pod panties. Does it matter? Well, yeah. Panties are the catchers. Oh. Honestly, you mm-hmm. could have been thinking of Lala's panties. Does she wear panties? Sometimes. Mm hmm. Not when she's on that tractor in her little sundress, <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, so, real funny thing about that. Um, at the meetup uh, last night. Meetup? I have I do a Wednesday meetup every on Zoom on Zoom. Zoom. Oh Everyone's Zoom, in? okay, yeah, sorry. Zoom. I was like, you went somewhere without me, and then didn't tell us. Yes, did it I, I say went, we all meeting up? Lala, I went to the internet without you. I don't know if you want to be in the places that I'm at on the internet. I can't Ooh. do Zoom. I don't know how. <laughs> okay, it anyway, is go ahead. Very complicated you are to s- download an app. I know. That. Anyway, so it's funny because uh, it was someone that what that did live here in the community, and. It's a common thing that she always wore dresses, constantly. Apparently, where she's living at now, it's cold enough to where she had to buy pants. And she said this. It's like, like everybody that knew the note knew her when she lived here was like, pants, you, underneath the dress, underneath the dress, yes, but still pants, right? It's like, what kind of flip flop, tipsy toppy <laughs> world are we in now? <laughs> we are in that kind of world. Uh, Anyway, listeners, uh, that was a quick aside. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you don't, then I'm sorry. Man whore, man whore, everybody wants to be a man whore. Man whore, man whore, a man whore on Lala's Land. Welcome to Lala's Land. Tonight, the studio is empty. It's just me. No guest. No Gothamite co-hosts. But that's all right. We're going to have a little fun, just you guys and and me. Tuck yourselves up in a nice little cozy spot and listen to this story I wrote a few years ago. I'm not going to read the whole thing, just a portion, a very hot portion. I start to crawl up the stairs so slowly, so quietly. The music gets louder as I make my way, so I'm glad for the music. I can't concentrate enough to make out what the song is. My head is spinning with excitement and anxiety. Breathe. Concentrate on breathing. Peeking over the crest of the stairs, there you are, leaning into your computer, reading glasses resting perfectly on your nose. My breath catches. How handsome you are. How serious. I almost hate to disturb you. I watch for moments, breathing, trembling. Finally, I crawl low to the floor, prowling like a tigress after her prey, a nervous smile plastered on my lips. You see movement and turn to my direction. You're startled. You push your chair back while at the same time your glasses fly to the desk. You realize who your intruder is. You start to stand. Your mouth opens, but nothing comes out. I shake my head no, put my finger to my lips. It's like you read my mind, and in disbelief, You lower yourself back to your seat, eyes roaming over my scantily clad body, taking in the deep blood-red lace that binds my breasts and covers my most intimate parts. I kneel before you, my legs spread ever so slightly. You see my chest is rising and falling rapidly, as much as yours is. You're suddenly hot, your sweatshirt is torn off, and you adjust yourself in the hard wooden chair, still in shocked silence. Have you ever had a woman masturbate for you? I ask shyly, softly, yet loud enough to be heard over the music. As I'm asking, my trembling fingers drop the small vibrator and grab the dildo from its bag. My eyes are locked on yours. You have no voice, your jaw slightly slacked. I imagine you're you're thinking, did she just ask me that? Your eyes widen slightly as you watch me place the dildo to my lips pink tongue escapes to lick the tip, running up and down the shaft, then slowly be sucked between red painted lips. You gulp. I hear it. I see it. You're tense, knuckles white as they hold tight to the arms of the chair. 
Slowly, I glide the now moistened ruby red penis down my face, dragging my lips apart as it moves down to my neck, across my collarbone, through the cleavage of my breasts. I feel myself getting wet as I watch you watching me. Entranced, unable to move, you lick your lips like you're about to eat your favorite meal. My breathing quickens as that dildo is now past my belly. I press it against the lace and moan with desire and need. I spread my legs and pull back the lace, exposing a cleanly shaven, hungry pussy. Gently and slowly, I press the tip against the moist flesh, which parts and seemingly pulls the dildo into its soft, warm depths. Again, I moan, louder now as I let it feel me, pressing it deeper and deeper into my secret folds. Once it's fully inside, I lean back, pull my legs out from under me, lying on my back now, legs spread, knees bent slightly, giving you the full view of what I'm doing to myself. I reach out for the small vibrator and turn it on. My other hand pulls at the lace that covers my breasts. I squeeze my nipple, place the vibrator to my clit, and gasp in utter bliss. I no longer even know you are there, that you are glued to the scene, unable to breathe, nearly ready to pounce. My back arches as I orgasm over and over again. Soft giggles of pure pleasure escape me. I shudder, take a few calming breaths, and lean up on one elbow to look at you. The vibrator is discarded to the side, yet I am still full, so I can't seem to keep my hips from gyrating. Want some, I ask, in a breathless, sultry voice. And there you go. That's my Lala's Land for tonight. I hope you enjoyed that. And now, perfect timing, gentlemen. It's time for Gotham Press Podcast. From Bakersfield to Mount Olympus, Gotham Press talks naughty business, sexual topics to explore your whoredom, good if you're new or kinky Yoda. Gotham Press Podcast. The dirty kingsters your parents warned you about. Perfect timing, my ass. Sounds like we're a little late. <laughs> um, I may have heard a little bit beforehand. I'm gonna, I'll be back. <laughs> so this might be a good time for the warning. The show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll put that in ahead of uh, whatever that was. That I think we might need to give another warning after that. Oh my God! Some little fourteen-year-old boy is losing his fucking mind. But why is a fourteen-year-old listening they to shouldn't us? Be listening. He shouldn't have been. <laughs> he, he's disobeying mommy. How do you know it was mommy that was listening to us? Fuck if I know. <sighs> I can hope though. Lala. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. Uh, gentlemen, <laughs> even if you didn't hear, she deserves a. <laughs> as greedy as. Um, Clapping with one hand. hand. Nice. He's clapping with one hand. Nice. That was moist clapping. (laughs) Well then. Okay, so real quick before we actually start, start. (laughs) She did all that without blushing. I mean, have you seen her? She can do that. That's Um, amazing. I felt like I was talking really, really fast. A little fast, but it was okay. Okay. I don't know. I, was lost I feel like it. we're going to get record listening numbers to this podcast episode. We'll find out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At least that part. People uh, are going to repeat that part over and over and <laughs> over and on a loop. I'm going to make it a ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it take so long to answer this phone every time? <laughs> Gothamites, welcome back. Welcome back, Gothamites. Did you just run? Greedy? Yeah. Are you okay? You all right? Running. That's okay. That's what I was doing there. Okay. You you need to get a drink of water. Are you all right? Um, and a couple of tissues. Yeah. <laughs> a moist towelette, maybe. <laughs> that wouldn't hurt. Wait, anymore. hold on. Wait. Why are you, you were in your room, Greedy? Shh. Why were you running? I'm afraid. He's got the whole house miked. Oh, that shoot. scares me. Oops. Scares me ways I should not be afraid. <laughs> What's really impressive is the cameras. Ooh. Wow. Especially you the bathroom can't cam. Even see them. I missed you guys last week. Them. You missed us? I missed you guys last week and we I did missed you. listen to the episode and I'm really excited for intergalactic pole dancing. Did I <laughs> is that the right word? Intergalactic. Well, I, I C- congratulations. Thanks. Intergalactic pole dancing. Pole dancing. 
gravity. You can just spin and spin and spin. I love it. So Lala is going to be our first intergalactic pole dancer. Yes, with my I... little um the little metallic mini skirt. Whoever said that was <laughs> that's I was like while I was listening to it, I was getting dressed for work this morning. And I'm like, do I have a little metallic skirt I can wear tonight? But no, I didn't. Oh, oh. <laughs> Next time. Next time, maybe. Next time. Yes. I'll make it out of tinfoil. Duh. No. Oh. It's <sighs> not tinfoil, though. No, that's what the hat needs to be wore, made out of. What was it called? Mylar? Mylar. Oh. Okay. See? Thief knows. Mm -hmm. So, Thief, I think she's saying you need to make this skirt for her. No. You know, the oh. really cool thing about that skirt, hmm. it's going to be conductive. No, then. <laughs> nope. No electrical play take for that Lala. Back. No I electrical take that for back. you. Fine. Maybe I'll find some silver lame. If nobody knows what lame is, it's like liquid gold. No, I thought it was like some kind of cake. But it's fabric. Lemon meringue. <laughs> it's fabric, but it looks like gold is just flowing. It's usually gold, but they have silver too. It's beautiful. I mean, it's hideous as clothing, but it's beautiful fabric. <laughs> right. <laughs> is it something that they, they might have worn on like uh, TBN? It was something they would have worn like on dance shows or like. What is Trinity TV Broadcasting? Flashback. Trinity flash, Broadcasting flashback? Network. It's flash. it's the flashback. Flash dance. Oh, flash. Yeah, dance. flash dance. TBN is the uh, the horrible network. Tabernacle that... Network or something like that. Trinity. Trinity. Oh wait, what was that show back in the day? Trinity where they would Bible dance Network. On boxes. And it was on Saturday morning. It was a dance show, and it was back in the seventies, eighties, and. There was a guy with a really skinny mic. Nope. Okay. I know. I remember. I, let's, I, I think I know what you're talking about. American on. Bandstand? Yes. Okay. So not what I was thinking of. <laughs> I think it was American Bandstand. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yes. She's thinking American Bandstand. I was thinking of a totally different show. Never mind. Okay. No, I'm curious what you were thinking of, Awesome. Hmm? I'm, I'm really curious what you were thinking of. No, Soul Train. She, she, oh, Soul Train. Uh, yeah, maybe. It. Yes. They would have wore a lot of lame on Soul Train for sure. <laughs> For sure. I'm looking this shit up. Yeah, I was not of the age group for American Bandstand. <laughs> All right. As Greedy goes to his phone. So Most of the shows that I watch that have girls dancing, they're not on the boxes. They're in the cages. But, I mean, that's... That's called pornography. I like cages. Oh, okay. I like cages. <laughs> we know you like cages. Oh, okay. So, Lala wants to be in pornography is what she's saying. I want to be in a cage dancing with, with lame, flowy clothing stuff. Ooh. So, Lala. Yes. You enjoyed last week's episode? It was good. It was good. It's funny. I I, li I laughed. You laughed? You know what was really nice? What's that? You guys were all, like, in it. What do you mean? You guys were all there. We were all present and accounted for? Yeah. Okay. Does that not usually happen? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> As Greedy looks up from his phone to realize... He's talking about him. He was I'm looking up. The... I'm looking at LeMay. I didn't know what the shit was, and I, I do believe I am right. It would be on TBN. Is that like a the? Is that like a church yes. station? Oh, Trinity Broadcasting. Oh, Network. they might have had their like singing it, choir robes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, oh, fuck. What Billy Graham was on it. Um. Oh. Oh. Fucking. Uh, greedy, greedy. Nobody cares. Okay. My my entire <laughs> point is these people. Everybody on it. Has like some f fucking massive hairdo, and they've got gold all over the fucking place. And, and Tammy Faye Baker had the giant yes, eyelashes. Tammy Faye Baker, she was on it too. And they yeah. had an air conditioned doghouse that got re repoed. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I am so lost. <laughs> we'll, we'll have a whole religion hey, conversation. I, let's, I don't want to. Let's talk about. Hey, sex pa patrons. I apologize. That. We know that you're paying for this. <laughs> I was going to say patrons. helping us out. Patrons. And you did not come here for Greedy to talk about his uh, past in the uh, religious community. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry that I added to that. Unless it takes place. But I'm not because oh, I said Tammy Faye Baker. Certain situation. That's funny. Oh, there could be sex in Look church. Look could. It's probably a lot of sex in church, We're actually. Our little combo Consensual there. sex in church. Yes. Consensual oh, yeah. and legal. Have you ever had sex in a church? Yes. No. Oh, my God. You need to do this. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I really don't. No. It feels so wrong, but so right. No. I think I've had sex in a church parking lot. That qualifies. All right, good. I, I'm not talking like at the pulpit. Oh, well, that's kind of what I was maybe. thinking you not said. Not the pulpit. Using the candles as the hot wax to drip <laughs> on each other. We didn't have candles in my church. Well, you're uh, not Catholic, but... True, I'm not. And I don't like wax play. Ooh. Oh. Wait, you don't like wax play? No. 
Really? I got burned once. Oh wow! I would have oh, for yeah. some reason. Yeah, it was it was an accident. It can but happen. It scared me. And now There's I'm, proper I'm, wax to use. Now and I'm improper. tormented. Oh wait, well I take it back because uh, your mistress did wax on me. Yes, she did. Once. Also, I'm allergic to like everything. Oh. Colors and fragrances. And, mm-hmm. So it has to be soy. Wait, no, it can't be soy. Can't be soy. I'm allergic it has to, to soy. Be paraffin. Paraffin with no, no dyes. coconut oil in it. That's yeah, we, we cut it with coconut oil. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can't do drop soy. Drop the melting temperature. Mm. Eek, I get chemical burns. Sorry. Enough about me. <laughs> patrons. You can never get enough about you, Laura. <laughs> Wait, we were talking about patrons? We were. You were talking to the patrons. You were attempting and to. And then Greedy and I got on this whole church banter and... Now we're on candles. And now it's your turn again. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, to... Uh, I don't know anymore. Patrons. Hey, Patrons. Thank you for supporting us. We love that you do. And uh, if you want to be a patron and help us out, you can just go to patreon.com forward slash Gotham Press Podcast. And so you can help for as little as a dollar a month. Anything really does help us make better quality product for you. <laughs> Wait, let me rephrase that. Everything, anything you give does help. It helps us put out a better quality show for you. It helps us put out. Yeah. And all of the, the patron donations actually go to the podcast and never to like us. Like we're not going, hey, let's go have lunch. We've got money in the butt. Like that shit doesn't happen. Right. No. Like Greedy has a new mic just recently because mm-hmm. of you guys. So yep. thank you. Because his was sucky. Yeah. Yeah. My my mic. I was using the, the one that we had as our first Mic for our soundboard, and yeah, it was the mic that makes him sound sucky. Not hey, him at all. Hey, hey, definitely because look, hey. he sounds amaze balls right now, doesn't he? Doesn't he, listeners? He balls. sounds phenomenal. I, I do sound. Pr- I do. I do sound phenomenal. Good. Do 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 Hey, Thief. Okay. Yeah. Where can they find us? Um, probably in copyright jail. (laughs) (laughs) Well, if we're not in jail and they want to find us, where can they look? They can look in the show notes. In the show notes? What will they find there? They will find everything in any way they need to contact us or to follow us, to see what we're up to, to talk to us, or to enter giveaways. Not Mm -hmm. only that, but there's some funny content in the notes sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I really need to get in the habit of reading them because they are quite funny what they was are. in the notes last time funny stuff <laughs> just funny. and links to certain <laughs> and articles and people to music and, yeah. <laughs> random music um references to things that have nothing to do with the show that you guys put on last week at all <laughs> but it was still funny it was still funny and it was fun and it just you guys should read the po- show notes true yeah i'm still trying to get the the instagram of the weeks in there but they're just not not in there. Wait, in the show. Oh, you wanted that in the show notes? Yeah. Okay, I can go back and fix that. <laughs> that way, it just makes it easier for people because they're like, when we spell it out, they're like, "Yeah, okay, I'm listening to the podcast right now. I'm not yeah. fucking." Yeah, and I listen yeah. when I'm driving, when I'm in the shower, when I'm. Wait, hold on. You listen in the shower? Yeah, I oh. put my phone up on my. I'm all yours. Shower curtain rod, mm-hmm. and uh-huh. I listen while I, while I soap sh- up and. Stick my leg up on the wall and rub soapy bubbles up and down it, and then I shave. At all. what Patreon tier do we get that <laughs> Zoom info? <laughs> <out? laughs> so, listeners, if you would like to have a la la showering oh, tier, please let us know. <laughs> do we have a shave a la la tier? Not yet, but if they if there is a request for it, <laughs> ooh, would you be willing to be shaved? Mm. To be shaved? To be shaved. Oh, Maybe. I hadn't thought about that. I've been shaved oh my before my first experience. <laughs> if you guys listened, you would have heard it. Um, <laughs> you would not have heard the actual experience, just the story of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you would have heard about the, the cows who go moo. They go <laughs> mm. They do. They do. They do. Hey, Greedy. We have sponsors. I think we do. Who are they? Well, we have J and W paddles. Uh, we have piercings by B. We have Brat of Steel passy, uh, Steel Brat passies, Steel Brat passies. I, I always get that messed up. And too. we have uh, Thief's Touch. Thief's Touch. Mm-hmm. Hi, Thief. Hi, Hi Thief. <laughs> and we have a beautiful giveaway to give away. Uh, that is correct. We have a giveaway to give beautiful, away. Hold on. A beautiful giveaway to give away. She's yes. so elegant. <laughs> it's not a giveaway to keep. God damn it. 
<laughs> a beautiful flogger made by Thief's Touch by his own hands to mm -hmm. give away to our listeners. And are we going to give a word this week? We should probably do that. Well, we'll do that later on in the episode. We might forget. That's very possible. And if we do forget, guess what? It's in the show notes. There you go. Okay. I already know what the word of the week is. Oh, oh what do? is that? Velma. <gasps> Velma? Velma? Mm -hmm. Why Velma? Why not? Oh, Ruh -roh, I guess, Ruby. I guess we'll find out, you Ooh. know, later on in the episode why that's a word. That's true. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Huh. So, Ooh, give me what have you guys been up to? Snacks. <laughs> I have been working my ass off. I, I have not. Greedy's been working. Thief hasn't. La La, what have you been up I've to? I've been working. La has been working. Um, How about you? Well, I've been working, but on my off days, I binged a show. What? Trigonometry. Tri Ooh, that's the one you is were talking about. Is it about math? About. It is. Just <laughs> I kidding. Mean, I technically, listened to the show. Kinda. I listened to the show last week. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's about big BBC. <laughs> big black cocks. Mm -hmm. Or uh, clits. Or clits. Oh, yes. Big. <laughs> It is on BBC, but not that BBC. Oh. <laughs> uh, the British Broadcast, broadcast Company ch or Channel. Channel. British company. Broadcast. I channel. I'm pretty sure it's Channel. Conundrum. Company sounds more professional. <laughs> yeah. But Channel more for television. Anyway, it's on BBC Two. And it's also on HBO Max. Did you say BBC Two? Yeah. Yep, there's, BBC Two. Yep. Yeah, there are, f I believe, five BBC channels. I don't know. There's what? a few. Yeah, there's BBC One, which is the main one. Then BBC Two, Three, Four, and Five. And the only way to watch it is with those old console televisions where you no. have to get up and go <laughs> click, 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 click to the five channels and they have tinfoil actually, antennas. No. BBC has their own VOD situation. So you their can own, go. Their what? own what? Video on demand. Ah, That's gotcha. Video on demand. Yes, that's okay. yeah, that's a thing. I never heard VOD. I, the I've only reason I know that is um, the Graham Norton show. Oh, okay. I fucking love it, and that's the only way you can watch it. Hold on, wait. So you do watch British shows? I guess so. Yeah. Just not the the one. Not the the not telephone the, pole in it. Yeah, the box. <laughs> the it's called Doctor Who. The blue telephone thing. Box. The, yeah. the blue now thing. there at one point when I saw the whole Bad Wolf thing. Yes. I was interested because I'm like, ooh, bad. Well, that sounds bad. I, what is that? And then I found out and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Fuck it. We're, <laughs> wow. like, there's no werewolves involved. Um, no. Wow. No big bad wolves. No big bad wolves. Anyway, um, trigonometry. Trigonometry. It, I, I, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. It's, it's a little slow. Is it a comedy? Um, there are comedic portions to it. Or it's more of a drama. Think more like a slice of life sort of sort of series. Oh, and is it reality? No, it's not reality. It's slice of life. It's hey, this is what's happening in these people's lives. This you have the main couple, and much like many people have, they have to get somebody to move in to make rent. So they have a person move in, and this person moves in, they are both interested in, and so they. Through the course of the show, eventually make it go make this into a relationship because they were both enamored with her initially. She was just a lodger, you know, just somebody living there. Um, after a bit of time, though, luckily it doesn't go like, hey, here's episode one is a day. Episode two is a day. It actually like progresses in time. She ends up falling in love with them. But it's, <laughs> I find it funny that they all care for each other. But they aren't talking about it, which is a real life thing. You know, hey, I have feelings for this person, but I don't think I can say this because it'll mess things up. You know? Mm, yes. Yeah. We've, all, we've all had that situation, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah. So it, it think, I, I recommend you definitely should check it out. Um, like I said, it may not be for everybody because it does move a little bit slowly, but the, the feelings that, you, that it, it tries to emote are good ones. Well, that's that's good. Like that's reassuring because I saw some deal on HBO Max where they've got a show coming out called uh, "There's No I in Threesome," mm -hmm. and I watched the trailer and it's it's about a couple who they're in an open no they have an open relationship and they want to merge it into like a poly thing. Oh, you know, I did I did see that trailer. Yeah, but it looks I don't know if it runs it off the tracks because part of the trailer you're thinking okay they're just trying to say that poly relationships are bullshit and that they don't exist or they're fake or 
that I mean, people I, can't do it. I, I, I did kind of get that feeling, but it, like you said, it's weird. It's like, okay, are they actually trying to find a poly relationship really? Or is this just something for people to watch? Right. Like, is it is it a real poly couple or is it two people who want to fuck around and they use that as their excuse? Or are they just looking for a unicorn? That too, yeah. They got to go to Scotland for that. <laughs> Uh, listeners, for those who do not know, hey, Lala, what's a unicorn? In the poly sense. Oh, <laughs> like it is a mythical creature with a horn. <laughs> and you it drink farts. its blood, you get a half-life. <laughs> it farts glitter. Um, a unicorn is a single person who will not have a relationship with a couple, but will come in and play with a couple. That That's almost correct. That does just because they're a unicorn doesn't mean that they wouldn't be in a relationship with them. Mm, I've that's... heard both ways. Oh, okay. See, I haven't heard yeah. it the other way. I, okay. I've I've heard both ways. the The definition of a unicorn that I've heard is oh, the predominant one is um, a single, bisexual, attractive female that's willing to have a relationship with a couple. I believe the male version is a stag. Uh, no, 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 dragon, a dragon. That's right, a dragon. Yeah, no, you're stag is Harry Potter. No, no, I'm thinking something completely different as far as stags in the kink sense. Interesting. I would have never, like, I, when, when I heard the term, when you said it, I was thinking that it would be a mythical person who could come in and make your relationship better. And that's, that's what a, people would want, and that's why it's a unicorn, because it's not real. Well, <laughs> like, you have, to have, you have to fix your own shit. You can't, somebody else can Also, can't fix it you for shouldn't, you. Um, if your relationship is on the rocks, please don't bring up third person in to try to fix things. Right. Have your shit in good working order before trying to bring in somebody else. Wait, so are you telling me that if my marriage is falling apart, having a kid isn't a good idea? <laughs> no. Kids fix everything, don't they? I mean, th- your, your life becomes total bliss if you have a kid. Here's the thing. Me, as a non-parent, no, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> that was complete sarcasm, people. So he says. Could have got an extra $600 on that stimulus, though. Anyway, are you in favor of watching uh, No Eye and Threesome? I I will watch it just to see what happens. Because it's apparently a documentary. I don't know if it really is or not. I don't, it seems kind of pretty scripted or... It heavily edited to it's a narrative. It's probably heavily edited. Yeah, like like they're like the the creators decided that they want to express a view. But then again, I don't know because at the end of the trailer, it kind of seems like things might work out, and it might. And you're like, ah, I don't know. Well, I, I think they do it, it that way just so to make sure, like, oh yes, come in and see if it does actually work out. True. It would be really cool if they set it up so that people who are against poly relationships. Or that belief in, in everything are like, oh, I'm going to watch that because it's going to prove, it's going to reaffirm my belief that this is bullshit and then they're going to watch it and find out that no, it, it exists and it's real and these people make it work and it's fucking badass and all of a sudden it's like in your face, bitch. Now, something that I have been feeling lately, I do like the fact that uh, more, more mainstream media is looking at Polly in a positive light. Right. As opposed to, yes, um, we're going to find this person in whatever show, oh, of course that didn't fix things. That broke everything. Now we're going back to how we were before, just the two of us. Right. And that's how it should be. That's we, not always how it should be. We need to reintroduce Jesus <laughs> into your family. Jesus will fix it? No. That's your third. You can. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers need Satan. <laughs> and that is Friar Greedy who worships. Hey, hey, hey. I don't worship. You support and lust after. Well, yeah. I do that with a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I was meaning Satan. Did you do that after greedy? Possibly. Uh, oh. Is there something we need to know? I thought you were going to make an OnlyFans. Can't support you unless you got an mm. OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> I Only might just have to make an OnlyFans. <laughs> or I guess Patreon would be better. Actually, you know adult. what? content you bring up only fan that makes me think of something what's that there was a story out of i want to say australia yeah um woman only has an only fans and she goes to get on up on a flight oh yeah she on this flight she has on she has a shirt but it's not like a full you know shirt it's kind of i forget what what the actual type of shirt top 
It, it is kind of like a crop top. Yeah, it's kind of like a crop but top. But it has shoulder straps. Yeah. So here's the thing. She gets on. She goes to get on the flight, and they tell her she can't because she can't wear a quote unquote bikini on a plane. Yeah, I'd be pissed. And they stop her and make sure that she does not get on said flight. Well, they they made her wear one of their like flight service jackets or some shit that like right. the reflective strips or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like completely embarrassed about it because it just that's just embarrassing. Like, how dare you? I would have gotten kicked off that flight had I been on it. It's Not like, if I was her, just if I was on that flight, because I would have been like, you are a fucking piece of shit because you're sexualizing this woman and you don't need to. Right. Nobody else here is. She's wearing a fucking shirt. Let her be her. Yeah. It's not like she's coming in here with her tits out and just like, hey, everybody look at me. No, yeah. she's just trying to catch a flight to somewhere. There wasn't even like under boobs or anything. Like there was nothing about what she was wearing that I thought was in any way, shape or form like Provocative. offensive. Yeah. Or Yep. What does that have to do with OnlyFans? Oh, you know. She, she, was an, she has an OnlyFans. She has an OnlyFans. That was, and that was the other thing. I think that's the only reason the story really made traction is because she has an OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. If it had just been any random person mm-hmm. that doesn't have something like that, who would have cared? I imagine she probably has quite a few followers, too, if She probably the news. does, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. That, I don't see why someone having an OnlyFans makes a difference in this sort of situation. If it happened to somebody that doesn't have an OnlyFans, that's just still have made news. True. Because that was a fucking travesty for that airline to do that. Yeah. Yep. And they, the airline itself even said, they're like, well... Our person fucked up. Like we'll talk to them about it because that doesn't go against our rules. Actually, it's I guess the only mm-hmm. thing against their rules for clothing was like they had to wear shoes, clothes. I don't know. I'm, if I'm actually looking at their shoes. dress code right now. Yeah, uh, footwear is required for the yeah. safety of all passengers during boarding and disboarding, and offensive clothing is prohibited, which includes clothing items that display words, images, symbols, or slogans that may be reasonable, reasonably uh, deemed offensive. The example given is a shirt with slurs or swear words on it. So what if you had a jacket that said Hell Satan? <laughs> Hail Satan? I don't think I would be boarding a Jetstar plane. Probably not. Well, well no, now Greedy would be protected because that's religious speak. Uh, yeah, this but is Australia. Also offensive is that, to some I, I don't. People. I don't know what the, what the oh, laws yeah. about religion are in Well, Australia. yeah, Australia. I, from what I understand, I've never been there, um, can be a bit um, strict with things. Well, they are upside down, so... Yeah. I've been to Australia. Have you? Yeah. I have. Is everybody upside down? Yes. Okay. Toilets flow backwards. They have weird birds, too. Everything... I've, I've heard everything in Australia wants to kill you. Yes, that's true. Not everything can kill you, but they, it all wants to. Mm, no, the birds don't. Are you no? sure? Yeah. Did you get okay. close to them? Yep. I fed them. Oh. They're like the equivalent of a seagull here. Ew. <laughs> Wow. That but took the romance like, right out of it. More webby <laughs> of feet. I don't know. More webby of feet. Yeah. I did go uh, wind holes. surfing in shark infested water. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at you. Congratulations on surviving. They were like waving at me to come back. Come back. Come back. Because I went outside the buoy area. I didn't know. So I came back. I was like, what? There's sharks out there. <laughs> Well, you, like the sharks didn't can't swim past the buoys. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know. Uh, I'm it, just, it's possible they have a uh, netted off beach. Oh. Just giving you the information that I had. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. I could have been shark bait. Okay, I'm glad you're not. Me too. Shark Congratulations bait. on Ooh. survival. <laughs> hey, Grady. Yeah, you've seen Star Wars many times. You've seen Mandalorian many times. I mean, how many? How many times are you going through Mandalorian now? Mm, many times. So Guess who you're not going to see on Mandalorian? Rooster anymore. watched it twice. Yeah, but yes, if you make a valid point, Greg, do you know who you're not going to see on there anymore? <laughs> uh, some some misogynistic bitch. I don't know. Baby Yoda. Wow. wow. <laughs> no, I I do believe that is accurate, Lala. We're probably not going to see Baby Yoda on there again. Oh, well, at least not for a time. And not for a time. But no, we are speaking of uh, Gina Serrano. John Luke Picard? Is it Serrano? I thought it was Carano. Carano, whatever. Carano. <laughs> Who cares? Anyway. Who care? Yeah, Gina Carano, she made uh, a few tweets that um, 
showed her as not friendly to anybody. She compared being a a fucking conservative today in America to being a Jew in the Holocaust. Yeah, no, that's not true. Huh? <laughs> That's not what she said. No, no, I'm saying that's not a that's not a good. Yeah, not that, that's exactly statement. what she said. No, that's yes, but, that's what she said, but that's not a good one to one. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's like apples and fucking dynamite. <laughs> apples and fucking. There, it's it's not even on the same goddamn level. It's it's completely different. So yeah, um, Disney decided to say <laughs> no more of you. Good for them. I. I this is a joke. I, I need to preface it by this is a joke. Considering Disney's blatant anti-Semite history, <laughs> do you suppose they're compensating? <laughs> wow. You know, Walt Disney was an outspoken anti-Semite. I, I mean, I'm, I'm aware of what where you're going with this. It's just... <laughs> Possibly. Let's go with that. And yes, that was a joke, people. <laughs> if Mickey Mouse shows up to kill me now, you know why. <laughs> I mean, none of us would be... This episode would never make it to the light of day at that point. That's true. Oh, I'm pretty sure our podcast just got pulled off of any network associated with Disney. Which is probably all of them. I mean, it doesn't have to be associated. Does Why it exist? Your hand green? Good job, Greedy. Oh, I uh, fingered Smurfette. Why would so be... your hand is green? No, he gave Kermit the Frog a hand job, is what he was trying Don't to say. Don't touch me with that yeah, infected Smurfette would be hand. blue. Yeah, this was actually blue, but, you know, work. Work, 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 work. He worked for Kermit. He was it was it chemical? Yes, yes, it was. And you let it get on you? Well, I didn't know it was there when I picked up the bag. So are you gonna die? Yes, his hand died. Is your hand <laughs> gonna get eaten by acid? Oh yeah, this is a flesh eating bacteria. Hold on, greedy. What? Did you lick it to make sure? Oh yeah, it's flesh eating. <laughs> <laughs> is it eating your tongue now? Tingly. Is it fun? Like Pop Rocks. Ooh, tingles. <laughs> Promises. <laughs> Have you ever done that, Pop Rocks? No, it's food. Oh, yeah. Huh? Do you know me? Wow. What am I thinking? <laughs> Guys, I, have you ever done that, Pop I, Rocks? I listened to an ASMR streamer who did Pop Rocks. Oh, yeah? While yeah. giving head? No. Just in her mouth. Well, that, no, I'm, I'm talking about while getting head. Oh. Like, no, I have She's not. got Pop Rock in I know her mouth while she's... We lied like, about it when I was like in junior high that we did Didn't it, everybody? But we didn't. Wait, but have you it. ever had it? No. No. Have no. you, Awesome? No. Pop Rock? No? And no. nobody has? Uh-uh. I'm curious to know if they could feel it. Listeners, if you've experienced <laughs> Pop Rocks on your genitalia, let us know. Yeah. I'm so curious. I, I really want to know what it's like. I it's... would think it would hurt, like it would pinch. Why would it pinch? They're exploding. They're not imploding. Yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> Little shards of sugar smashing against your dick. <laughs> well, so Pop Rocks are, are sugar, and they're also carbon dioxide. Yeah. So it's basically a, a solidified dry ice compound of some kind. My understanding of it is it's got an acid and uh, sodium bicarbonate. Um, so it's like citric acid and sodium bicarbonate, and that oh. makes that that poppy crackly okay. reaction when they I mix. like biting them, and then they pop really big. Have you, you still ever... have all your teeth? I do. Oh wait, you're a dental professional. What were you gonna say? Have you it... ever um, bit the the mints or whatever it is that spark? They're supposed to spark oh, in the dark. Oh yeah. Uh, what? I don't know. The, the wintergreen mints. Yeah. No. I think Al- it? Is it Altoids? I think it's Altoids. I have no idea. I've never heard I know of the this. Ones you're talking they, about. They, I've, they I've heard of this, but I don't they know. They spark when you bite. Are you sure they're not certs? Maybe with it was the little certs. flex in them. I don't remember. I think no. they might be certs. Anyway, hi kids. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to our childhoods. <laughs> we were just talking nerd talk. You know, that's what this podcast is all about. True. Nerd topics. Stuffing your kid's mouth with. Wait, did you just call me a nerd and then fun. try to save yourself? Nerd topics. Nerd topics. Nerd. I got a nerd topic for you. What? HBO Max again. I love because HBO they've Max. They're coming out with all kinds of cool shit. What now? They've got a new adult animated shows coming out. They're mm. um, redoing one. I can't remember the name of it at this moment, but they're also doing a new one that is going to be a Velma Dinkley origin story. Oh, God, yes. Velma, as in. Wait, did you, but you said adult. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Yep. Adult Wait. animated shows is what uh, they say. Like I sex adults? I don't uh, know. Like triple X? I don't think Pro- so. Probably because more like Archer. 
Yeah, I don't know what that is. They say in the actual <laughs> like the article that HBO Max is like happy to continue on the traditions of some of the the cartoons that they as kid you know grew up with and stuff. So I, I doubt it's going to be adult adult Archer. Yeah, um, are you saying Archer like yes. archery? Yes. Yes, like archery. Nope, don't know it. Um, Big Mouth on nope. Netflix. Nope. Do you watch anything animated? Nope. Well, then Lala will ne- will not get any of this. That's true. Sorry. And they're also. I be- watched Scooby Doo. They're bringing back Clone High. <gasps> I just got I just got the hand. You got like, waved off. Pfft. You got waved. Velma off. is from Scooby Doo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wait, Clone She's High. She's the hot one. She's. I know this hot <laughs> nerdy <laughs> one. Clone High sounds familiar. God. I don't. The I hot, never nerdy, watched Clone smart Eye. one. <laughs> I, 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 it sounds familiar, which means I've heard of it some point. I don't know what it is though. Orange sweatshirt. Uh, what are you skirt. talking about? Velma. Yeah. Now he's talking about Velma. But yeah, we were, we're talking, talking about Clone High. I've never heard of Clone. I've never Eyes. heard of it. Well, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. I think is it, it run a, by sheep? I think it was a a, a two thousands kids thing. They cloned sheep. Awesome! Don't look at me like that. Lala, what? You're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that was bad. My goodness. That deserved my fake overbearing laugh. It did. Because you're a bad girl. <laughs> that was mm-hmm. it was actually kind of cute, but I don't want to admit that. So could you edit that part out, please? No. <laughs> it's staying on. <laughs> Thank God you asked for something to be edited. It usually stays in. You know Our that, right? patrons <laughs> deserve it. They do. Our listeners deserve I it. I want some ice cream. Do you? I can't give you ice cream, but I can give you Sam's clam. If you'd like to have some of that. What's that? It is our Insta, kinky Insta of the week. It is uh, at Shrimp Teeth, and she is an amazing Instagram account that seeks to educate about anatomy as well as sexual and consensual adventures. What does it have to do with Sam's Clam? That's just her her name. Her name is Sam's Clam, and it's at Shrimp something Teeth? Yeah, the the Instagram account is at Shrimp Teeth, but the name of the account is Sam's Clam... I think Minnesota. Okay. Minnesota. Minnesota. Sam's Clam. Don't you know? Don't you know? But it's, it's a very cool Instagram account that has like diagrams and, and about anatomy. Stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Anatomy is good to know. Explore your sales. Especially when you're others. exploding yourself. Mm-hmm. Listeners. With a mouth full of pop rocks. Oh, God. <laughs> Listeners, please never be afraid to explore your own joy, pleasure, and body. True. Touch your own self. All the time. All the time. What's the, what's the song from um that movie? Don't touch, ask me. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. Touch, 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 touch me. I have no idea what I you guys are talking get about. Dirty. Now I'm looking at a thief like, what the hell? How do you You don't know me? it? Why are you looking I at me like that? I recognize the song. I'm dr- drawing a blank where it's from. Frankenfutter. Rocky Little Mermaid. Horror Rocky. Picture Show. Oh. Yeah. I yeah, was, I was just gonna give him characters until he figured it out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, when you said Frankenfurt, I mean, yeah. I mean, I that, don't know. That's a, that's a giveaway. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. But the it thing is. is, see if you haven't seen that. What's that? Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, the the little wiener dog, the Franken dog thing. No. All right, that's so Franken Weenie. <laughs> we're we're taking him with us next time we go to the Shadowcast. Whenever and that happens in in the future, I want it'll to be go. sometime twenty twenty. You have to wear a corset. Okay. Or something yes. sexy, fish nets. Good luck finding one that'll fit me. No, no, no. We'll Why? figure something out. Because I, goddammit, will go as Rocky. You will? <laughs> You're going to wear little gold lame short shorts? <laughs> if, I have them in, if they have them in my size, I'm willing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> of course, I don't, ha- I don't have the, uh, the 15 pack that he does. It's okay. No one cares. It's all about the gold lame short shorts. <laughs> Gold Lame, we bring it up. Shorty short shorts. So okay, so we're gonna take greediest Frankenfooter. Um Thief uh what's the butler's name? I don't remember. He can be the butler. I am the butler. Yeah, no, not quite. No. Um let's see, I'm gonna be Rocky. So Lala, who's that leave you as? I don't know. I mean you can be uh one of the naughty girls. Janet? Not Janet. <laughs> no, she's one did... of the boys. Damn it, Janet! No, one of the naughty girls that try to corrupt her, or they, one of the minions of the main guy. Can... <laughs> a Frankenfooter? Of Rocky. Don't oh, be a okay. Veronica in a friend group of Heather's. Wait, what? Be a Heather. 
What the hell are you talking about? Mean Girls. No. Heathers. Heathers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have seen Mean Girls once. I've never seen Heathers. I've seen Heathers, but it's been too long. So, so good. So good. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, Heathers, it's so good. Hey, listeners. <laughs> if you're going to go to a shadow cast of Rocky Horror, who would you go as? Yes, who? Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. I want to know. He wants to know. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at Greedy, like looking at his phone. I think you would go as a transsexual transvestite from Transylvania. A sweet transsexual. Yes. Sweet, sweet. transsexual yeah. transvestite. But no, not me. I'm just, I'm just asking the listeners who would they go as. Well, I know. I'm just saying you would. Oh, you know who nope. awesome could be? Little Sweet from the Diet Dr. Pepper commercials. What? <coughs> no. Uh, Little n- Sweet. No idea. I, I, I don't know. Uh, you guys are killing me. You kill killing us me. all the time. <laughs> Pain. It's right through the heart like a spear. Spiteful. Hateful. Oh. Hey, which one do you put in this in the show notes? What? Fat fetishism? Is that a thing? I did. Yes, I did. Fat fetishism. Mm-hmm. Really? It's our kink of the week. Is that like, is that feederism? It can be. Wait, what did you just say? Theaterism? Feeder. Feeder. Like feeding food. Oh. Yeah, nothing is, you are not nothing you were interested this in. Is not your oh. realm, okay? That is that is hey, a form of your it. hand. I support. don't want to support. <laughs> no, no, your hand Come has on. chemicals and you're gonna kill me. I fingered Smurfette, okay? No, just Smurf. Go with it. No, I'm not, not gonna green. hold your hand. I was like, again, blue. Smurfette's not green. It's fucking. It was fucking blue. It was blue. Tell us the kink of the week, please. Fat fetishism. Can you explain it? Can you get? Yeah, oh. I can actually give you. A little insight into it because I've experienced it. Oh, I had somebody that uh, that I messed around with, and she was all about the belly, and she kept telling me how she wishes it was bigger. Yes, she was talking about the belly. Don't look at me like that, Austin. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that was not meant to convey <laughs> that sort of thought. I was like, oh, okay, so she wanted a bigger belly. It was yeah. just a thought process, and it was the most fucking disturbing thing I've ever experienced in my life. Really? Yes. I would have rather her ask me to shit on her chest and then feed it to her with a baby spoon. Have you had that happen? No. Okay. (laughs) But just the whole, I just, I don't know. It just like, I mean, I, I, you know, I was a lot younger, so I was a lot less knowledgeable, confident in my body. Like Ah. I was very ashamed of myself, but just like, I don't know. It just like, she kept bringing like the attention back to like my stomach and how big I was. And I'm just like, I, this is, I'm not, this ain't, I can't, mm -mm." (laughs) none of that. No, it fucking weirded me out. And it's, it's weird. Greedy. Have you ever had something like that? Uh, nobody's blatantly brought it to my attention. So no, I haven't directly had that. Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, back uh, before I moved out here, uh, I had a friend, this is shortly after I got into the community and she had come by my place and one of my friends just so happened to be over. So I kind of introduced her to him and she went to go use the restroom and he made a statement to me uh, a few minutes later, like she's into bigger guys. I'm like, what do you mean? Because he was kind of muscular and felt, you know, the quote unquote uh, ideal kind of body for people. And he's like, she didn't give me two looks, but she looked at you. She was like, for real, she's into big guys. I'm like, sure, buddy. Now, notably, she did end up marrying a big guy. But <laughs> I just kind of found that like, all right, so maybe he, there was a little bit to what he had to say. But uh, no, I never had any. She, For the entire time that I've known her, she's never said, I have to have a belly or anything like that. And I, I don't think like chubby chasers would be classified as that. Like it, it to me, the fat fetishism thing is, is, a, is a step above and beyond that. Oh, because like I, one of the proudest moments of my young childhood life was when it was me and my cousin and a friend of ours, and then two girls at a birthday party, and it was me, and my cousin, and this girl sitting at a bench, and he's just going at her hard, like flirting like crazy, trying to talk to her, and she just straight up tells him. You're too skinny for me. I like your cousin. 
<laughs> and it's the only time it ever happened in our childhood, but it was like, oh, I was just, I, I just wanted to be like, fuck you, buddy. How do you like <laughs> them apples, motherfucker? But it was great. All right. So, so somebody being into somebody bigger is not fat fetishes. Not necessarily, no. But somebody that is focused on the belly, yeah. the, um, the, the fat, the, the, the fuck, what's it called? The but, underarm sways? Yeah. I, th- there's, th- there, there's a specific word for that, and I can't think what it is. I don't know, but yeah, things like, things of that nature that would be fat fetishism. Mm-hmm. Okay, I go. I don't understand. What don't you understand? You're not really saying what it is. You're just saying it is somebody as with many fetishes. It is somebody that is sexually attracted to someone that is of a certain size. Like th- I am sexually attracted to. So, so let's say I'm, if I'm a fat fetishist. I would be attracted to somebody that is greedy size, that is thief size, but not just, oh yeah, I like those sorts of people. It's that is what gets me off. Right. It has nothing to do about the person. Like, like I'm not seeing greedy and going, oh, he's, he's a nice person overall. Like he's, he's a decent looking human. Like everything. It's just all about the size. All about the fat, the belly. Fats and Yeah. yeah, rolls and curves and i've seen that before in like some porn and stuff like that um like there are ssbbw super size big beautiful women oh that is a huge market for some people because oh my god she's so fat i love her when she oh show me your rolls or things like that yeah it gets weird it really to does. me it's weird oh no to I me know, too i know it's you know some people are out we there can't, like, we, we shouldn't thing. be fat we should, everybody right. got their right. own thing we shouldn't be mm-hmm. fetish shaming right but I am because I've had it happen to me and it freaked me I out. I just don't think I really grasp. So they don't even. Okay, let's. let's... It's like if you had a big cock and I didn't even know you had a personality, but I saw your cock and now I'm obsessed yeah, that's, with yeah, it. Exactly. Like exactly. That. Cock yes. fetishism, yeah. Exactly. But, you don't give a shit about what the cock is attached to. But, you just know that it's 17 inches long and four inch diameter. <laughs> but the belly or the arm can't get you off sexually. So that it turns sure them can. on. It, it turns them yeah. on. Okay, Lala, Lala, what? have you ever read a story and got aroused? I just read a story and I was aroused. Okay. <laughs> but it didn't have a cock. It had a Did, dildo. Was there was there a dildo inside you yep. when you were reading that? No. That would have been fun though. But you got off. I didn't get off, but it was exciting. You got excited. Sharing. But I think okay. more though, this has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I was more excited <laughs> to share my story with people. Okay, so let's bring it back to what we were talking about. Okay. Okay. My point is you didn't you didn't need to have vaginal penetration to get aroused. Correct. You didn't need to have a physical member in your face. To get um, moist. Correct? correct? Okay. Why is this suddenly different for you? Somebody I, I, okay. somebody he's, he's... overweight, somebody fat is being fetishized by somebody else. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. For their... Yeah. No, finish what you were going to say. For their, for their, for their size. They're mm-hmm. being fetishized. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. How is that any different than somebody reading an, ero- an erotica... And enjoying that, because that's not going to give you any physical pleasure. No, but that's 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 a whole. That, that, that's, that's kind of okay. Bit. But you you see where I'm going, yeah? No, I, I see I, where I, you're trying to go. I'm <laughs> not. I'm not. And it's it makes it sound, the way you're talking is making it sound like I'm putting these people down. I just don't no, understand no, 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 it. No, 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 right. no, 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 what? How many people, <laughs> the moment they hear, oh, you're black, suddenly like, oh, my God, he's got to be hot. He's got, oh, my God, I'm so excited. I've had people, like, interactions like that because I'm black, all of a sudden, oh, you have to have all these X, Y, Z things, and that's really hot to me. Or what if I was turned on by blonde hair and nothing about you did anything for me except for your hair? Yeah. That'd be sad. Okay, actually. but that's... Yeah. That would be a fetish. That's how it works. It's like, hmm. so it wouldn't matter your personality. It wouldn't matter what you said, what you did, how you danced, how you looked, how you fucked. It's just about your hair. 
Interesting. Actually, you know what? I heard something on uh, Savage Lovecast week, maybe two weeks ago, that was kind of similar to that. It was a woman calling in, talking about how she she was in a relationship, but the guy that she was with only cared about. Oh God, what was it? Um, oh yeah, yeah. Only actually only cared about her being a certain size. Ooh, that's what it was. Um, he actually, I'm sorry. They were married. That's what it was. They been in a relationship, got married. She got pregnant and she got larger and suddenly he wants to fuck all the time. But then she goes to, to lose weight and suddenly he is very, Oh, really? Are you going to exercise again? Cause he doesn't like her when she's smaller. He liked her when she was larger. Interesting. Hmm. So that would be something similar to that. That would be kind of a fat fetish thing. Like, hey, I'm Lala, if we got married today and it's like, oh, okay, I'm married to Lala. I love this woman. She's great. But then you made a, like a change for whatever reason. And that just flipped the switch and that does it for me. And then you go back. I'm like, can you go back to how you were before? <laughs> that's where I thought you were going with that story. And I was like, oh, that's sad that like he no longer attracted to his wife and then he just flipped it and you're like, Nope, other way around. <laughs> yeah, no, he he's attracted to her when she gains weight. So that's, that's the thing he's trying. His whole, her whole thing was like, how am I supposed to keep my marriage going? If I, cause she wants to be in shape. Right. And healthy. And, and all but that. he wants her larger. I wonder why, like that's, that's an interesting thing that like, you'd have to talk to both of them about really to find out like, why, why does he prefer her that way? Is it strictly a a it, sexual thing, or is it more of a I need her in a state where she can't run off with the pool boy kind of <laughs> thing? Like, I mean, there's a lot at play here. Could well, be. Well, no, that's a, if it were a matter of her running off, then she wasn't pregnant the entire time that it, they were together. So true. You know, if she was going to run off, she she would run off. True. It was literally just she got larger, and suddenly he got more interested. That's hot. Maybe he didn't know that he would be interested and in yeah. more deeply attracted to her. Right, which is once which what I was going for is he may not have known that, but once it flipped and he realized that, yeah. suddenly it's like, "Oh, you're losing weight again. I don't I don't like this." Uh-huh. That's a conversation that does need to happen. Right. And it may come out that, "Hey, when you get smaller, I'm not attracted to you anymore." How, how do they go from there? Yeah. Interesting. That would be a cool conversation. I don't because know if it'd why? be a cool conversation well, I mean, for them. <laughs> no, not for them at all. Like that's that's horrifying. But like for us, just to learn because like I, I'm curious. Like is he, is he is he afraid when she's thinner and stuff that she's weaker and he's he might hurt her or is it just like a I don't know. No, so I, many I, different things. from what I remember, I believe it was simply from from her side of things. It was simply he just likes her larger. Okay, but that's that her it. side of things. Right, no, no, I get that, but I'm saying from the information that we currently have. Right. Like I've 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 heard her side of things from friends before. They're like, "He's just doesn't want me anymore." And I'm like, "Are you sure? Because like when you're not around, he's always talking about you and just I don't know." Mm-hmm. Sides of stories, two of them or more. There are three si- there's three sides to every story. Three. Three. His, person hers, is, and theirs. No, his side, her side, and the truth. Mm-hmm. Oh. You never heard that before? No, I don't think so. But wouldn't yeah. the truth come out if they were talking together? Because you, they would call yeah. each other out and the truth would. Right, that's, that, that's why Not that's everybody the truth. calls each other out either. Though. Right, that, oh. that's the thing. Not everybody calls each other out, but that's kind of the point is when you get both stories together and they start talking to each other, that's when the truth comes out. That's the third side of the story. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've been learned today. Anything else about the BBC? What? <laughs> you <Is> that... <laughs> completely... welcome back to the podcast, Lala. <laughs> oh wait, wait! I was thinking. <laughs> no, listeners, this has not been edited. She has just been gone oh. the entire fucking time. No, I <laughs> forgot what the fetish was called. I was thinking big. Because we had said big black clit or cock <laughs> earlier, so I was we, we I was thinking her. big. <laughs> we also said SSBW, but she didn't key in on that what one. What is the bit? What was the fetish again? Fat fetishism. F- oh gosh, I was way off. Yeah. Yes, you were. <laughs> you were thinking about that BBC sitting here. I was just 
<laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. I mean, he's what's sitting up? right there. <laughs> hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on. What's up, listeners? How y'all doing? That's right, right there. Mm-hmm. Gives me chivers every time. Uh, but no, I believe. <sighs> Was that, there anything else on that? Topic? I believe I, I'm done. Are you? I'm done. Yeah. Greedy. Yeah, I'm Anyone done. Else? Greedy. Else? Greedy checked out that conversation a long time ago. The, the whole fat fetishism thing. I mean, if fetishes in general, if if you can't, uh, I'm, no, I'm not doing. But that. No, isn't no, a kink no. considered a fetish? No. No. Well. Oh, it's not. I thought they were kind of simultaneous. They're sort of, kind of sort similar, of? but uh, what is it? A, a fetish is a kink, but a kink's not always a fetish. Is that what it is, or the other way around? Uh, I've never heard that. It, it, yes, it, yes, that that okay. So a fetish, a kink. You a kink is something you do. A fetish is something that you're obsessed by. Yes. Oh, well, there you go, listeners. Now you know as much as I do. <laughs> That is that is very very broken down definition. No, or... that makes good sense though. Yeah. So I'm obsessed with all y'all. <gasps> so you are my fetish. She's a she's a fetish of the Gotham Press. Mm-hmm. No, of you guys individually. Oh. Oh. Okay. But uh, and, and the Gotham I'll take it. and the Gotham Press. Mm. All, right. all right. Hey, Lala. Hey. Final thoughts. Is it time already? We just started. We just barely covered the BBC. <laughs> There's got to be more topics on this list. You can talk about his BBC together later. I do have a topic if you okay. want to talk about it. Mm. Yeah. You're probably not going to be interested. Oh, crud buckets. It's another HBO Max show. Okay. Called Painting with John. And? it's it. The trailer looks great. Like, it starts out with, and he's, he's painting a little bit, and he's talking about how Bob Ross, when he painted in his show... All the trees were happy. Mm-hmm. Oh, are his he trees says, angry? He goes, my trees are not happy. They're fucking miserable. And then it just goes off. Like, so he's like, I'm not, I'm not going to do a painting show. This is just a show where I tell you about life. And then it just goes crazy, like just downhill kind of <laughs> dark comedy stuff. So oh, it that looks sounds good. great. It looks That's really good. That's painting with John. Yeah. That sounds great. At okay. least watch the trailer. All I right. will have to check that out at some point. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, since Lala doesn't want to give any final thoughts, hey, think any final thoughts? I do. And in fact, my final thoughts is about Lala. Oh. Yeah. I just wanted you to know that you smell different when you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's funny that you would say that. I walked into Modi the other day, which is the mo- you know motor home dungeon, mo- oh. mobile dungeon. And I, asked, I don't think the listeners knew that yet. Oh, oh, the motorhome is named Modi. Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, but anyway, I walked into it and uh, asked Bradler. I thought I smelt something funny. So I was like, do you smell that smell? And he's like, all I smell is all that product you have on, which was a <laughs> gift from the W of J&W paddles. Oh. So thank you. <laughs> thank you to J&W paddles. <laughs> For making me smell good. So, so Lala, I have a question. Yeah. And Phil is Modi a male or a female? Female. Okay. It's just curious. In my eyes. Okay. I mean, Brad may think something different, but in my eyes, you, she's a girl. You she's do a... stick the pump in her. <laughs> but I guess you could stick the pump in her. There's a too. lot of things you stick in her. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. A you hose. climb inside of her? You can climb inside her. Mm. You can. Sh- hey, Greedy, final thoughts? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm enjoying hearing about Modi, and I'm still kind of reeling about the whole fetishism in general. Because, yeah, not my thing. But Fetish, you know, fetishism is not your thing. Yeah, it's not. You don't like any fetishes? Greedy is no longer kinky. Everybody, no longer kinky. Hey, no, 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 no. I am a kinky motherfucker, literally. No, kink is <laughs> kink is what you do. Yeah, fetish, fetish is, is what you what obsess you're about. Right. So yeah. you don't have anything that you're obsessed about? Uh, hot peppers. <laughs> oh, right. His, Charlie Brown tree. Well, his mistress. Yes, your yeah. mistress. Are you obsessed over her, though? Well, or just I don't in know. love? I'm in love with her. Yeah, yeah I was going to say in love, that's, yeah. That's so sweet. I don't know that you can call that an obsession. What? It can Being be an obsession, but I, I think in that case, an obsession would be kind of a negative. Like you're yeah, obsessed yeah. to the point of like fucking just 
Oh my God, no! That and then they don't horrible. want anything to do with you. Yeah, yeah. I I, I hope she still wants something to do with me. You're so. like texting her every two minutes. Aww. Like, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? Like, I miss you. Like you do to me. That's a bad thing, thief. Like my phone goes off every two minutes. <laughs> like that. Is that what you're talking about? Or not? That's not, not just middle of the night. That's not. No, because when you do it, it's not. When obsession. I fantasize about you, it's a kink. <laughs> okay. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not obsessed. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm not. Eight hundred I'm not, I'm not messages obs- today that says that you're not. Don't look at all of those. Oh, okay. Think of them as one message. You did because <laughs> <laughs> you're always on my mind. So there's never a separation of time. What are these pictures of seagulls all about? What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? He keeps sending me messages, and some of them have pictures of seagulls. I don't know. Ask him, not me. Jeez, you guys. I Because <sighs> seagulls are the... Um, because what he's trying to do is say, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> I want to be. I want to be her. I want to be the twelfth man in her. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Also, real quick. Hey, Sports listeners. Reference, sorry. If you use the mine, 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 and tell us what movie that's from, you'll get an extra entry into the contest this week. Yeah. We actually have a mug that is that. Oh, you do. That's yes, fantastic. I'll show you. Uh, anyway, so what was the word? The word was Velma. 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 Delicious. We have to make sure we remind people at the end. That's true. I wonder how many spellings we're going to get. A Velma? Uh-huh. Vel- it's <laughs> just, just, just don't, don't spell it. Don't spell it's it. the easiest word to spell. Shh. You would, there you would think goes that. texting me again. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm, I know. I'm just making sure you're okay. I don't okay, want right. anything to be uncomfortable. I'm good. For thank, you. thank you. Okay. I'm good. Yes. I'll kick their asses. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I noticed you had a collection of pigs in your backyard. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. What the fuck? <laughs> have we just gone completely off the rails now? Is, is, I think so. I, I, hold I mean, on, wait. I have a I have a question about this. Thief, are there bodies you're trying to get rid of? No, the body. I dispose of my bodies properly. Thank you. Okay. Why don't you try carving your face off with this? <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, Mr. Lecter. <laughs> hey. It's the only line from that movie I know. I mean, aside from Hello, Clarice. She puts the lotion in Ooh. the basket. It, it puts the lotion. It, it puts the lotion on its skin. Okay, or there's else a few lines again. I know. Okay, yeah. fine. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. it is not a person. It is simply a leather. Skin. That yeah. is a fetish. Yes, it is. Mm. Oh. Skin. Yeah. Yes. Creepy. Next week. Actually, <laughs> hold on. Funny. I can't wait to try yours on. Hold on. Ugh. Funny you should say that, Lala. Oh, why? I... Again, this is back before I moved over out here. Um, was talking with a woman, and we she's she came to meet me. We're talking, and I want to say it's like our second or third time actually physically meeting together. She's like, "I love your skin. It's just so soft and beautiful." I'm like, okay, you know, I need you to like, you know, in your will, leave your skin to me. I'm like, that sounds creepy as fuck. <laughs> That is super creepy. She, Wait. She was doing it in a joking manner, but still, that sounds creepy as fuck. Are you right? sure you she was it. joking? <laughs> Wait, what? You should do it. I should do what? Leave you should your leave your skin there. <laughs> why? Because Just, why the fuck she asked, not? You'll what are you going to do with it? You'll have the last word on You that don't one. need it. <laughs> Just She'll imagine the random surprise. random delivery. She'll be so excited. Her She'll kids just... are running around. Mommy, what's in the box? Instead what's of in a the bear box? rug, it's an awesome <laughs> rug, and she just lays it on her bed and rolls around it. And oh, grabs... you're thinking of like having it? Okay. Well, I just meant they don't do anything. <laughs> they just take it off of his body and put it in a bag in a box and send it to her. I was thinking. They don't actually process it. <laughs> wow. You know, in order to do that, that's a lot of work. There's a lot um, of taxidermists could do it. I'm sure taxidermists probably couldn't. I don't know if they could. Do, like, I'll have to skin. ask. I have a friend. I don't know if they one. can legally do that. Not well. I don't well, know. not legally. Duh. Maybe legally. <laughs> I don't know how much of this could even be inferred as legal. <laughs> it is absolutely legal to own human bones. So absolutely legal. But not. Yeah, you just can't sell. Well, yeah, you can sell bones. But you can't wait, wait, wait. sell is it organs. Legal to owe them, own them if you harvested them. <laughs> 
if it's, I don't know. That's a good question. He has a pig farm. I'm t- just Why? saying. What is this pig farm? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't even know where this came from. Don't pigs eat the bones? Yes. Pigs eat everything. But you got to get in not there before eat. they eat the bones. Yeah, they won't eat hair or teeth. Really? But, yeah. Yeah. Do you not know? Why do you have a pig farm then if you don't know this? Wait, hold on. More importantly... Does that mean you've left evidence all around? Yeah, clearly I never he has. feed bodies to pigs because I don't own pigs. Okay. Well, you just keep telling Anymore. yourself that, gentlemen. Anymore. There mm-hmm. are pigs. did as a cat. child. We had one one pig. Her name was Smelly. Uh, did you name her? No. Uh, she was named after my aunt, Shelly. Oh, okay. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Smelly Shelly? But, uh, yeah, we came home from school one day, and there was a rifle sound, and then we had ham and bacon for a very long time. Bitchin'. Yep. Mm, I bet that tasted so good. Yeah. Tasted like ham and bacon to me what, when we were what, just kids. Wait, I don't hear my question. What happened to Aunt Shelley? Um, <laughs> She is still alive. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. You weren't eating Shelly. Good. No. For a moment there, I was worried that your bone collection started there. <laughs> there's way too much meth in that body for us to consume. Oh. Oh, oh. yikes. Yeah. Can you imagine methed out pigs? Uh, no. That sounds horrible. That's they horrid. Would be they would die. They would just They would rampage. just die. That's... I don't know. Their their anatomy, their biology is very similar to ours. Yeah. You can run your blood through a pig's kidney to filter. I've heard this before. Mm-hmm. They, it's medical practice that they do. Mm. I don't know if medical practice is the right term, but procedure. <laughs> it's a medical <laughs> procedure they do. Wow. Um, awesome. Got any closing thoughts? Oh, wow. I was wondering when we were going to get to me. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. I tried to end this, what, almost 20 minutes ago? It's fine. It's, it's fine. them. They just keep bringing up stuff. Okay, pig farmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo. <laughs> wow. With so, oink, oink here. Oink, oink, oink there. Here, oink there. Oink everywhere. Oink, oink. So, uh, my final thoughts. Um, if you find somebody on social media that is kink and fetish positive definitely follow them support them um take a look at some of the things coming out for hbo max you may find something that actually piques your interest as far as the kink world um if you find any other kink shows share those with your friends share those with us we would love to hear about it um other than that i think i got nothing all right then so we're done we're done we're done you always have us so you never have (gasps) nothing oh R. Aww. What? What? Whoa. No. Whoa. No. Easy, boy. Uh, Easy. No. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. How, how, what? What's up? Your buys last week. Sorry. I don't know, listeners. Were they up to par? No. I think they need work. They did. Oh, okay, more importantly. So, Green. Thank you, Lala. D- do you want to take that from me? Is that what you're trying to say? You, you want to take it now? No. He's trying to. He's trying to. Did you hear it, listeners? You all heard it. You are Nobody all heard it. witnesses. Mm-hmm. You got to take the power back. Possible heard deniability. It. Nobody has this podcast. <laughs> I do. Soon it will be in all our pod. Pod. Be, pod Fab- you know, <laughs> Pod Beep? <laughs> <laughs> pod catchers? Yes, those things. Those things. Pod panties. Pod panties. Ooh, panties. It's okay. Don't worry. Because, listeners, okay, we are. Out. Bye. Bye.